Hello, I've had a question about number 8 and lesson number 4. So, the question is saying, find the scalar equation of the line through the point 8, negative 2, parallel to the parametric line that's listed, by first finding the symmetric equation of this line. So, here's the thing with this question. It's really a B, B part and an A part, because they really are unrelated. I'm really not sure why you have to find the symmetric equation first. However, uh, it's a good exercise. So, I'm just going to rewrite the parametric that was provided here. Y equals 11 plus 3t. So, we'll go into symmetric form. It would look like this. X plus 4 over negative 5. So, you're just rearranging and solving for t. Each of these fractions is equal to t. So, y minus 11 over 3. So, for example, I added 4 and then I had to divide by negative 5. That's how I got my symmetric. So there's the symmetric equation. It is absolutely no help to you in finding the scalar equation. So it's one of those funny questions that uh, it's a, I, I want you to practice symmetric and scalar, but one doesn't really lead to the other. The piece of information we really need in order to find our scalar over here is we need to know our normal, direct, normal vector. And to find a normal vector, we need our direction vector. So we can see that our direction vector from the given information is negative 5, 3. Now in 2 space, to find the normal vector, we switch our x and y coordinates. So it becomes 3 and 5. And we change one of the signs, so it's easier to now make that 5 a positive. That's the most efficient method. Now, to finish this off, to find the equation, I like doing the... Uh, OA dot the normal and setting it equal to zero. You can do it with the substitution method as well. Both are equally uh, effective. So this becomes um, x and what was the point? Just scroll up a little bit here. I can't see it. There it is, 8, negative 2. So there'll be x minus 8, y plus 2 dot my normal, which is 3, 5 equals 0. So we just got to apply the dot product here. So we have 3x minus 24, so distributive law, plus 5y plus 10. Oops, what happened to the smart word there? Plus 5 um, plus 5y plus 10 equals 0. Collecting up your like terms, we get 3x plus 5y minus 14 equals 0. And there's our scalar equation for this situation. All right, so there's your symmetric and your scalar equation. If you have any questions, let me know, and I'll see if I can clarify them.